Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Smooch Bath and Body and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I made last night. I got an order for 144 bubble bath bars and 48 bath bombs so I have a lot of work ahead of me but this is what I've made so far. So at the top here are the Jazzberry bubble bath bar and they're a pink and yellow and they smell just like ripened raspberry. So they smell really really nice and fruity and they have a great scent. And these are uh, just leftover pieces that I have. I just kind of make them into a little cookie and we use them at home here for ourselves. And below those are the Mango Tango Bubble Bath Bar. And uh, those are kind of an orangey and a yellow color. And their scent is mango, of course. And again, here's a little leftover piece that I have and uh, we'll use that at home. And these are packaged in three. So you actually get three of these bubble bath bars. And uh, so I've, I've still got, I think, another batch of the Jazzberry Bubble Bath Bar to make to fill that order. But I think I have enough of the mango. And then at the back here, I have what is going to be the Confetti Bubble Bath Bar. I've got another batch of those to make, but uh, that has to be unmolded and then cut up. And then I have to put some soap icing on that. So maybe I'll make another video so you can see how I do that. And if you look over here, here are some of the things that I already have packaged. So the ones here at the top, uh, these are the Sea Spray Bubble Bath Bar. And I'll kind of show you the side. They're, they're uh, a green and a white in the middle. And it's kind of a gray on top. I know it's hard to see through the, through the bag, but uh, maybe you can sort of see it. And I packed them in these uh, cellophane bags. And then I always like to decorate them. Uh, you know, nicely with a bit of tulle and ribbon and then a little decorative uh, little decorative gem or something like that on the top. I decorate them with different things, but I always like to finish it off with that. And this is a very nice, fresh, fresh scent. So it's actually a good scent for uh, men and women to use. Men like their bubble baths too. So, And then down here we have the bubblegum bath bar. And this is uh, kind of a flattened bubble gum, I guess, is what it looks like. Um, and it's got some purple and some teal and some pink. And it smells just like juicy fruit bubble gum. So if you love juicy fruit bubble gum, like we all did when we were kids, you will love this bubble bath bar. And this bar can be broken into about four pieces. So you get a good number of baths out of this one bubble bath bar. And again, it's decorated with kind of a, a fuchsia colored ribbon and a little decoration on the top of it. And on the back, you'll see that here's the label. Uh, these are all waterproof labels, so if you get them near the water, they shouldn't uh, smudge or anything like that. I think it's important that you wanna know, you wanna remember where, uh, where they came from and um, you know, what you bought. So if you, you, know, you wanna remember that it was the bubble gum bath bar if you like that, so you can reorder it if you like. So. I always like to have the, the smudge-proof labels, the waterproof labels. So anyways, that's how those are decorated. So I've got four of those, and I think I have to do another four yet. And then these are the Flutterby Bubble Bath Bar. And I'll pick up one of these so you can see. So these are kind of, kind of a cupcake shape, sort of. Uh, they've got some green and yellow and bright pink, and then they're decorated with three little cute butterflies to kind of go with the colors of the Bubble Bath Bar. And these again are in kind of a fruity flavor, fruity scent. And I decorate them again with these um, cellophane bags and the label on front. And then I've just got a little bit of tulle again and just a little decoration. So that's what I've made so far. And uh, I'll make a, maybe make another video on my progress when I get this order ready to send out. So thanks for watching.